Hey guys, what's up? I'm Phil and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I came up with this Korean inspired look. Nyaseyo. Before we jump to the tutorial, I just want to share with you my devotional for the day. Romans 15 verse 13. This verse actually is a very wonderful prayer that the Apostle Paul wants every believer to experience. Romans 15 13 says, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. When I read this verse, I was asking myself, do I experience joy and peace? Do I abound in hope? And the answer is totally yes. When you have this relationship with God, your heart just overflows with joy in knowing Him and serving Him. Peace just creeps into your heart knowing that there is a God who watches over you, who is mindful of you, and who actually has promised you a lot of things. All of His promises are true, all of His promises are secure, and you know that if God promises you, you can actually trust in Him. And you know that God will never fail. I've come to realize that my hope is not only found on His promises alone, but my hope is found in God. My hope is found in, in Him who knows the future, the past, and even the present. And I just wanted to share that to all of you, especially to those who have problems and difficulties you know you should bear in your mind that everything is temporary it will pass but hoping in the Lord actually gives you that peace that despite your struggles and despite your the ugliest circumstances that you have there's a God who loves you and there's a God who takes care of you so yeah that was my devotional for the day and if you want to see how I came up with this look, keep on watching. As always, put all the hair away. Let's moisturize. Moisturizing will help us achieve that dewy look. Up next is BB Cushion. So I'm using the Maybelline New York Super BB Cushion in Fresh Matte, shade 03 Natural. Koreans love using cushions to achieve that natural, no makeup makeup look. Now before we move on to the rest of the face, let's moisturize our lips first. Up next is the cheeks and for this I'm using the Vivid Tint by Peri Para. Because this is very pigmented, what you want to do is just place three dots on your face like so and just blend it with your brush. For this step, I also include brushing the bridge of my nose to achieve that natural blush effect. Now repeat the steps to your other cheek. Now to make it even more natural, I'm just going to add another layer of BB cushion on top of the cheek tint. Now I like to set my cushion with powder and currently I'm using the Mary Kay powder. Next step is the brows and for this one I'm using the Maybelline Fashion Brow Duo Shaper. Now Koreans have straight brows and for this step, I'm just outlining my brows and make it more straight. And once I'm done outlining, I'm just gonna fill in the sparse areas. Now the Maybelline Fashion Brow has a powder side and a pencil side. I'm just gonna use the powder side to blend my brows to make it look more natural. Next is brow gel and I'm using Color My Brows from Etude House. Now initially what you want to do is brush against the direction of your brow hair like so. Once you're done with this, brush your hair 
according to your brow shape. Now once our brows are done, let's move on to highlighting and I'm using High Beam from Benefit. And I'm just applying this on top of my cheekbones and using my fingers to blend that in. Now you may also highlight the high points of your face like the top of your nose and your cupid's bow. This will add to that dewy look that Koreans are known for. Now I'm also going to add some on top of my lids and on the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes look more awake. We are done with highlighting. Now we're going to do our lips. So we have to prime our lips first. Since I don't have any concealer, I'm just going to use this highlighting pen from Mary Kay. Now Koreans love the gradient lip effect and it's very important for us to conceal the color of our lips just to make the tint pop more. Now I'm still using the Peri Peri tint which is in the shade Peach Squeeze and I'm just applying that on the inner part of my lips. Now with the use of your finger, gently blend the tint towards the outer corner of your lips like so. Now I'm just adding a little bit more on the inner corner of my lips just to make the color look more diffused. Now let's move on to the lashes and I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. So before applying the mascara, make sure that you curl your lashes first. I also like to apply some of the mascara on my lower lashes. And just do the same on the other side. And voila! We are done! Just add some bangs and you're good to go! So that's it for this look. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!